Before you watch, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the most useful information about the world of artificial intelligence. And let's get started. GPT for All is one of several open source natural language model chatbots that you can run locally on your desktop or laptop to give you quicker and easier access to such tools than you can get with their cloud-driven counterparts. It works very similarly to ChatGPT, but there are no wait times and you don't have to log in to use it. I will leave a link to the installation in the description of this video. Note that GPT for All is a natural language model that's based on the GPT open source language model. It's designed to function like the GPT-3 language model used in the publicly available ChatGPT. However, its training data set is far smaller than that of GPT-3 and GPT-4. That means it isn't as capable as either of those models. Since it's running on local hardware, it can also be slower, although depending on your system's processor, not dramatically so. Installing GPT for All used to be rather complex, but thanks to the efforts of the developers, there's now a handy installer that makes it a piece of cake. Download the installer for your respective operating system from the GPT for All website. For the purpose of this guide, we'll be using a Windows installation on a laptop running Windows 10. Run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. When prompted, select the components that you want to install, GPT for all. Agree to the license agreement, then select Next and when ready, install to begin installation. With several gigabytes of data to download, the installation process can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to a couple of hours depending on your download speed. Now that you've installed GPT for All, it's time to launch the application. You can do it in the same way you do almost any other app. Subscribe to my channel if this video was useful to you.